Hello, my name is Kate Stevens, and today I'm going to explore how we can bridge the gap between farmers and consumers to explain the importance of sustainable agriculture. With Pete of Just a Few Acres Farm YouTube. Hi. It's such a fun channel. I try to make it that way. So could you explain to me a little bit about your YouTube channel and what you do? Yeah, we have a small farm. It's only 45 acres, which is small for a livestock farm around here and we sell all of our products direct here at the Ithaca Farmers Market. That's very incredible. And why do you think it's important for people to know where their food comes from? Oh my gosh, food's what sustains us, right? And if you go to the supermarket, a lot of the time you have no idea how your food was grown or even where it was grown. Places like this, the Ithaca Farmers Market, you know exactly where your food was grown because if you sell it here, you have to grow it yourself. So people can ask the details about how the steak was grown. You can make that connection that's pretty much impossible at the supermarket. Market. Yes, and would you say it's important to convey the message of sustainable agriculture? I do. I mean, that's kind of a part of what we grow. Um, Certainly. And I think that a lot of farming has gotten a bad rap with the public lately because of what they read in the news about farming's impact on the environment. It's really important to sort of walk the walk with what you're eating by helping to support farmers that are improving the land and lessening the emissions that their operations create. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Would you say that a lot of your viewers knew about agriculture and where their food comes from before watching your channel? No. <laughs> My world is all about farming, so I just assume that the public knows, you know, what we knew and we grew up on a farm and, you know, we know how things work. Uh, being on YouTube, it's amazing. Sometimes I'll read comments to videos and things like that and think, wow, you know, these folks really think that meat is grown on the supermarket shelf or in the back room and there's a whole side of it that they don't see. So education is a big thing and thinking of you know, farmers as like real people that have their own struggles and they're trying to do the best they can and still make a living out of it. making it real to people. That's a huge part of doing YouTube. Well, thank you so much. I You're really welcome. appreciate this. You're welcome, Kate. Thank you, Kate, for giving me the opportunity to to talk about the importance of family farms and why we need to support them. You know, here in Montana, we have many farms that are operated and, and worked by multi-generations. Well, let's, let's take the Stevens farm, for example, Kate. Uh, you're working with your, your dad, your uncles, your, your grandpa. Dad and I are here at lunch and also grandpa. And I bet you many times your, your family discussions talk about what's important to the farm, and what happened to the farm last year that we could do better. And Today, I'm giving you a wheat update. And Grandpa will say, well, we tried that 30, 40 years ago, and talk about what went wrong with that and how maybe it could be tried again and improved. So these are what the lentils look like? Different colors. There's green lentils, red lentils, yellow lentils, black lentils. This is making the farm sustainable. So now I'm going to step outside the combine and show you how bad this saw fly damage really is. This is where it's important to keep families on these family farms to make sure we have a secure food supply that is being sustainably produced from one generation to the next generation. Now I'm over at the 13 bins, part of the original homestead, and here is planted lentils. The family farm, it feeds your neighbors, it feeds the world. I'm now here with Thor Oshner, an organic farmer from Newfield, New York. Could you tell me a little bit about your operation? So I've been farming for 35 years here, and uh, we farm 1,200 acres of organic certified grain crop. And we grow a lot of different cover crops to build soil um, and fix nitrogen and do some different things that help make our farm more sustainable. And why do you think sustainable agriculture is important? Because if we don't start changing the way we do agriculture, we are rapidly running out of fossil fuels. The herbicides that we're using, uh, the plants are becoming resistant to them. And I feel like we need to grow food in a manner which more closely resembles nature than what most of industrial agriculture is doing right. I mean, I started out as a conventional farmer and I made the switch through looking at my practices and deciding that if I'm gonna spray poisons on my crop, those poisons are gonna end up in the groundwater. My neighbors are gonna drink the groundwater, I'm gonna drink the groundwater, the groundwater is gonna go into the stream which I fish in and eat the fish. All those different things sort of put a light in my head saying that this cannot go on forever without us creating a huge 
problem. How can we produce our food going into the future so that the next generation can keep farming? I think it's honorable what you're doing, actually. It's also a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> so, well, that's just all. Those awesome. are knock-on pluses. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.